Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace your driver's side window control panel. I'm gonna be replacing it with a 2019 up Toyota Camry switch. You can kind of see it up here. I'll get you some more close-ups when we get closer to the car. There are pros and cons to this mod in my mind. I'll talk about those again when we get closer over there. I'll leave it up to you guys. If you think you love this or hate it, you can let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you've already done this mod yourself, you could also contribute down there in the comments section and let other people know what you think of this switch. So here we go. All right, here we are. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. It's a little windy out here at my house, like usual. But this is the OEM control panel. I like these buttons a lot. I think they feel really refined. They're smooth. These do have auto up and auto down. And I just really like the feel of it. I think it's kind of like an Audi. It's just really smooth. And here is the replacement. This is a genuine Toyota part. This is from a 2019 and up Toyota Camry. And it probably works in other vehicles as well. The biggest difference, the main difference, is that all of these are illuminated. I haven't had to drive at night too much yet, but when daylight savings time goes into effect, uh, I'll be driving a lot in the dark. So I wanted to have these illuminated. I thought the switch was gonna be very much like the original one that this car has right now, just super smooth, very nice. But if I turn it sideways, you can kind of see how it's a little chunkier. I don't like this one as much. Maybe you could even tell by the sound. Let's see, I, again, it's windy and I don't have a microphone set up, but here is maybe what it sounds like with the OEM with the Toyota RAV4 Prime. Just, just a little click. You can barely even hear it. Very smooth. And here's the Toyota Camry. definitely louder and you can feel the resistance so here is the normal just window down you push it down and then if you want to do auto down it's that extra click I don't know if you notice that I'll, I'll show it again so there's down click that's auto down same thing with up up click and that's auto up so I'm not sure, my wife really prefers this. She seems to have a hard time finding that little sweet spot of moving these windows up and down. So she's actually kind of excited about the change, but she rarely drives this car anyway. <laughs> I am trying to convince her to take this SE so I could buy an XSE, but that's a story for another video. Uh, still working on that one. So maybe this will help her that, and she'll like this a little bit better. So I'm gonna replace this panel. And actually there was another difference with this right here. This is a very gentle button. It's not a latching button. It doesn't stay in. It's just a very gentle, nice push button. This one actually is a latching button where it stays in. I don't really think this is better or worse. It's just different. So be prepared that that's gonna be a little different for you as well. The lock and unlock seem pretty much exactly the same. I don't see any real difference there. All right, next. I gotta take this panel off and we'll get this thing in here. All right, here we go. So you're just gonna need to pry up from the backside here. I just have this little tool. I think this should work. And there's a clip. You gotta be careful of this. Actually, let me try this tool. So I have a nice little pick tool here. Get this right underneath here. Uh, yep, very, very easy. So I just use this little pick tool and reach it in here and pop it up. And there's gonna be a little bracket up here, so you just gotta pull it backwards after you get the rear up. So you can see right here, this clip is just gonna slide forward into a notch right down there. And then under here, yeah, so under here is just this clip here that is holding it on, very easy. And then you use your fingertip to slide that off and take your fingertip to slide this one off as well. That's it, very, very easy so far. All right, now you can see these screws. There's just three screws, one, two, three. And I'm gonna unscrew those, and this whole panel with all these switches is gonna drop right out, and the new one is gonna screw right up there in the place, right here. All right, now that those screws are out, all three of them, this piece just pulls out, just like that. 
So there's the original one, there's the panel, empty. And here's the new one, about to go in. All the holes line up perfectly, very simple to put together. Okay, now you just reconnect your plugs. And then when you're putting it back in, remember, you just gotta slide it forward so this clip right here is engaged. And you look down, line it all up, and push it into place. Very, very easy. And there are the new switches. I guess they don't feel that bad once they're in there. I'm sure I'll get used to them, no problem. But again, here is the other one. I can show you the same example that I showed you before. See how that just is so much more smooth. So that's window down, auto window down. Window up, auto window up. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Yeah, it's very different, but I think having the lights will be worth it. And definitely with the daylight savings time hitting us very, very soon, unfortunately. But yeah, at least it's still Toyota, still good quality, and it looks like it's just supposed to be there. Well, there it is. Hopefully that helped somebody. It really is a super easy install. It's just that when I opened the box and realized how different they were, I wasn't too thrilled about that. Maybe I'm just nitpicking. Maybe other people won't care at all. But I thought I'd show you guys at least the differences and let you guys make up your own mind. The part is quite inexpensive. After shipping, the part was only 50 bucks. I purchased it from a Toyota dealer in, wow, that's a crazy name, Piolup, Washington. <laughs> you can see the part number on this receipt and the price in the bottom right-hand corner. It came really nicely packaged in bubble wrap. And in case you can't see that part number, it is 84040 06 070. I thought the packaging it came in was kind of funny. This did come from a Toyota dealer and it is a cookie box from, oh, there goes all the stuffing, fatandweirdcookie.com. They just got a free plug. But yeah, I thought it was funny that a Toyota dealership shipped it in this container. But I'll include the links to it below. It was the cheapest one that I found. Maybe you could search around and find it for a little bit cheaper, but 50 bucks I thought was fine and reasonable. But there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up button because that really helps me. It doesn't cost you anything, but it gets these videos higher up in search bars and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. But that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.